Okay. So thanks everybody for joining today for another one of these brief Teams sessions that we do on Wednesday, on Wednesday's convocation. Today I wanted to talk about the Tema Med One Ed One Edu platform as an anatomy study tool, both for, study tool for students and can also be used by so be used by faculty in different ways. If we have time, I'd like to show a little bit about visible body. I'm already I'm already at, with all I want to show you from Med One. We might not get a lot of visible body information out today, but if we don't, I'm, I can always do another one of these team sessions that's just about visible body. I just thought since they're both anatomy tools, um, it'd be cool to show them together. But um, as always, if you go to the the Lucom library page, which is liberty.edu/lucom/library, underneath databases, you'll have links to Tema Med One right here, and you'll find a link to visible body body a couple of links below that. Um, if you click on the research guides link here, or, or, or are we changing the name of that to course guides and class text? Um, so the link might look a little different, look a little different. Um, you'll find uh, Tema Med One is here, and it's also uh, visible body is down here at the bottom of this list. And you can also find them in the alphabetical list and the A to Z uh, database list. So if we click on Tema Med One, You'll be taken to this uh, screen. It might, might look kind of clear because one of these textbooks is required for IMSK. It's Gilroy, Gilroy's Anatomy is a team of publication, and that's that's actually in this collection. But there's other books here, and it's here, and it's not all anatomy. It's mostly anatomy. Um, but you'll see underneath this side, this sidebar, you'll see uh, uh, sources and content, ebooks, playlist, list, media, image, images, videos, and audio, and questions and answers. Um, I'll try not to go too quickly through this, but I do want to be able to show some of visible body if I can. But in the ebook collection, if we just click on that, you'll see all these these ebooks that are available in this collection. I can't remember exactly how many are in here all together, but there's a lot. Um, and like I as as I've said, most of them are anatomy textbooks. Some some of them are um, organ systems, um, but there's um, essentials and anesthesiology, which may, which may not be it approaches it from an anatomical angle but it's a different kind of textbook textbook clinical uh, examination but a lot of these color atlas of human anatomy anatomy i'm um, trying to see what else is here we have um here's gilroy that's one of the required textbooks for imsk for students who may be on this or watching this later this is one of your required textbooks and actually if you go to the course guide for imsk where we showed this before, we've, we try to organize your required textbooks. You'll find Gilroy's down here, and there's a link, a link directly to. You don't have to dig through it. You can just go to the course guide and click on that link, and it'll take you directly to to resource. But since that is one of the required books for IMSK, I'd like to show that one, that one, and what you can do with it. And you'll see, uh, Med One noted at the beginning of this textbook. But over here under content, you'll see it's got different it's got you know, back, thorax, abdomen, uh, pelvis and perineum, upper limb, lower limb, all these different sections. And as I expand this, I can look at surface anatomy, bones, ligaments and joints, muscles, neurovasculature, um, sectional and radiographic anatomy. So if I were to just say do bones and ligaments and, and joint, you'll see quick access to different parts of this chapter. It's really it's really a concept of a digital. It's not you can get PDFs of this book because we do have this physical volume volume. You'll see PDF up here that you can click on, but it's really built as an interactive digital digital that you can interact with. And you'll see it's got overview, uh, cervical vertebrae, thoracic, thoracic vertebrae. There's images, there's descriptions of these images, just like there would be in the physical um, physical textbook. Um, but I wanted to show you if I click on one of these images. Um, I can zoom in, I can just like anything, but I can if I, if I customize image. I'll take it. If you used winking skull winking skull before you remember there was a study tool that would let you um, study parts of anatomy and anatomy and toggles off and on so you could quiz yourself. So you can see here that there that there's a way you can show labels. You can turn labels off. I want to. Um, where do I customize image? It's not doing it for me right now, but maybe that's there we go. So if I click on labels, I can turn them off and I can use this as this is a study. Guide. 
once I've familiarized myself with all the labels, I can actually, when I click on customize image, I, image, I can click on labels and turn them off and then quiz myself. So that used to be something that was part of part of Winking Pro, which they've gotten rid of, but they built it into the textbook itself. So you can tell, so you can still have access to the same thing. If you're looking, if you're a, a faculty member, faculty member build uh, PowerPoints for your lectures. Um, you can actually save images as a JPEG and in, insert those into your PowerPoint. They also have a tool here where you just click on PowerPoint and it literally downloads the image as a PowerPoint slide. Um, and what's cool is when you do that, uh, any of the resources that do this, they'll make attribution for you. So if you're worried about like cite, citing something, it's not as strict with lectures because it's not necessarily something that's going out and going out into the public. It's really just in-house for students. But if you want to make attribution, just as a good copyright practice, right practice for you when you use that that feature to create a PowerPoint slide directly, directly, uh, directly from the image. Something else I want to uh, point to is you'll see a if I can get back to another screen here. You'll see a login button here at the top of the Med One Education platform. It's free to create an account. I just have one already, uh, but you can you can create create one yourself if you don't have one yet. And you'll see now it says my name up here. And the reason I wanted I wanted to do that is when you have an account, you can create something called a playlist. Playlist. You're a, this is, I'm thinking particularly with students. If you are going through different images, different images, and there's particular sections of anatomy that you want to come back to later, maybe you're not as strong, maybe you're not as strong, study those. You can add these um, images that you found that you find diagrams or illustrations to a playlist. You can create new playlists. I created one called IMS case study, and if I apply it, I've saved this particular um, diagram to my IMS case study playlist. And so if I click on my IMS case playlist, I've I did some of this earlier so I could show you. So I, you can you can make custom study gu study guides. If you're if you're having trouble with different say vertebral vertebral column, left lateral nerve, nomen foot, uh, patient with lesion along thoracic nerve, you can add and make and make this, and then you can go through these things, customize image, toggle labels off and on, and study them that way. Just kind of a feature. Another self-study tool that I want you to be aware of is, uh, let me go back to the home here. I apologize if I'm speaking too quickly. I just want to show as much as possible. Questions and answers. Uh, there are self-assessments. I know, know that a lot of times are interested in where they can find questions for study. I know we have access to, to Kaplan board review series now. Um, it's a resource purchased by Office of Meta, but a, meta, but a bunch of sources that we have in the library have self-study, self-assessment quizzes. Um, uh, a total of 1,312 questions here. I can pull those from different subject areas, systems, even difficulty level or clinical vignette. Um, I can choose questions that um, I have answered incorrectly before, or ones, or and, and if I don't want to see questions that I've already breezed through and answered correctly, I can just find questions that I've answered incorrectly, with or without images, questions that haven't been used before. Or as you change these things, you'll see the pool of available questions will decrease, increase because I'm pulling from different areas to build those self assessments, and. It can be can be at a review session. They also have a practical exam where it's like a time you can set you can set um, time you want to give yourself, how much time you want to have per question. It's pretty cool, pretty cool on this resource for especially for students. The last thing I want to show in this resource is images, video, and audio. If you really just want to see the multimedia that's available here, I, I believe there's even some radiology. Um, recordings and things in here. There's a ton of stuff. Stuff you can see here. What do we have? A 50 over 55,000 results. I mean, there's just like you can search through this. Through this. There's a search bar up here. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can see it on my screen. Searching in, searching in me. So I'm not sure. So I can just pull up images just for whatever I'm looking for. With through, looking for with throughout um, images, video, and audio within the resource. So that's kind of a broad bird's eye view of what's available in this. Um, again, I know it's kind of frustrating for some faculty that in the past had used the team of teaching assistant, but with with including some of the, those features into this resource and also pulling some things from what used to be used to be in a Winking Pro and putting that into this resource, they've kind of changed how they format it, but it's still it's still the same. 
Visible body. 3D anatomy study tool. And if you go to the Lucom library page, that link, that link, as it always has been, is down here at the bottom of the page on the uh, uh, the uh, class course guides and textbook lists or research guides, whatever you want to call it. It's down here under featured resources for visible body. If it stops popping up, visible body. And it's also on the A to Z database list at the bottom. Well, right above Wiley Online Library. So when you first get to let me, yeah, so it'll ask you um, sign sign up or sign up before continuing. I already have an account because I've used Visible Body before. If you haven't used it, it's, for, it's, e for, it's easy to sign. You can just follow the, the link here. I'm going to sign in, and it's actually an application, Haitian launch. Um, so I believe it's JavaScript. I'm not sure. Something that's really cool. It's really cool. It has a mobile app that you can install on your phone, and it. I've, I've had problems with Android phones in the past, and I still have not figured it out, but at least with iPhones, you can have augmented reality where you can take a picture using the app on your phone of any flat surface or however you want to orient, orient this digital cadaver and place the cadaver there. And as you move your phone around, you'll be able to, it's like you're walking around a cadaver. You can take layers off, put them put them back in, just show nerves, just, so, just show musculoskeletal, or surface of that surface anatomy, all that stuff. It's really, really cool. But you'll actually launch. It might take a second, take a second, um, because like I said, it actually launches an application to to um it's like a it's like a 3D model, basically. And I don't want to see what's new right now. But just so you can kind of see some of this, here's carotid and jugular. It's a it's manipulative, I guess is the right is the right word. Manip manipulable. <laughs> I'm not sure how you say that, but you can move around this model in any direction. You can draw on it, you can search within, you can dissect, you can take levels off, levels off and on. I can, I'm scrolling, I can't show you that with my screen, but I'm scrolling in and out with my mouse. I can tear. Save those. Um, I'm trying, it's been a while since I've, so I click on an area here and it pulls up these contextual menus. So I'm looking at the radius, forearm, antibrachium. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's got related content, um, any notes or anything. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can show you here. You can, you can add tags, um, which, which we would call data in the library world. If you just want to, want to, if you're studying particular arteries or vasculature, vasculature, you want to tag all of the things you study in visible body for the exam on Monday, you can tag you can tag them Monday and pull up all those those pieces later. So there's, so there's a lot here and you can see I'll pull up related content and jumps right into it. I can take notes on this and this. I can create a flashcard to study from. Um, I can I can move this around anyway. I really if you get a chance, if you have an especially if you have an iPhone, I'll try to figure out the Android phone. Um, to come by the library or if you want me to come by your office, I could show you the app on the phone to have the 3D augmented reality digital cadaver thing in front of you on a table is, is really it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. But you do have to create an account to use this. And it, like I said, if you don't have one, you just sign up. Um, and it's, you can, it's, it's as easy as setting up as, easy as setting up an account. I haven't looked at diagnostic images or the, the whole lab uh, quizzes and uh, quizzes and much, but again, possible study tools for students. I can see how um, perhaps uh, faculty might want to use flashcards in their in their lectures. I'm not sure. I'm not. I think it'd be more of a student. But um, this is a great resource. They're both awesome, awesome anatomy resources. We're really fortunate to have. I will make quick mention of the new. To mangle the name of it, but there's a new table that um, it's a digital digital table that Dr. Raleigh spearheaded getting us for the com, and I believe I believe it's one of our old faculty um, study rooms here in the library. I'll have I'll have that once we actually get it set up and using it. But for now, this between Visible Body and um, the team of Med One Education Platform, it's some really powerful anatomy study tools and also features for faculty. So. Thank you guys for your time. I know that was a lot in a very brief amount of time, but I just kind of wanted, wanted to make sure, these, especially our first year students, were aware of this before IMSK, because this, this could, prove, could prove usefully starting off with that course. Thanks, Rob. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, that was really helpful.
Absolutely. Hope you all have a good day. Day. You too.